Is it the bird? Is it the plane? No, it's fucking tasting time. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? God damn, that was bad. What's up, everyone? It's Alicia here. Here we are again, tasting things. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, I haven't tasted the thing that is underneath this dome. And that's basically it. If I'm going to give you the short version. All. I've been allergic to almost everything for 30 years. And now all of a sudden my allergies, or most of them, uh, went away or isn't deadly anymore. So I can taste, taste things. My wife decides what I'm tasting, put it un underneath this dome. And it doesn't tell me. That's about it. Without uh, further ado. Without further ado. All right, without further ado, let's see what we're going to taste today. Oh, it's a glass of milk. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I, I think I've drank milk before. Oh, there's cookies behind it. Boo, you I'm suck. That's a fucking choker today. Oh, they are chocolate chip cookies, I'm presuming. Looks like it. Yeah, I haven't been a big chocolate chip cookie eater because of the uh, fear of having peanuts and nuts inside them. Or the possibility of uh, being contaminated by the uh, other cookies that have peanuts and nuts. Uh, if you go to a supermarket and check any fucking cookie box there, it's gonna say it may contain traces of nuts or peanuts. And that's something you really are wary when you're deathly allergic to something. And that's, that's the reason why I haven't eaten chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I'm presuming this is the old stereotype that if you eat chocolate chip cookies, you need a glass of milk because they are so fucking dry that you will suffocate otherwise, right? No, you should dunk them in the milk. Do you need to dunk them in the milk? Or are you supposed to dunk them in the milk? Yeah, you can try both ways. That was kind of kinky. Okay. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you go both ways. Because apparently we're doing that now. So, uh, let's try this without the milk first. I'm gonna say the chocolate uh, bar I ate, the the biscuit one, was better. But let's stay, let's let's see the dunk test. So you dunk the shit to milk. It actually makes a whole lot of difference to dunk them in milk. And yeah, this is like 100% natural bull milk. So if you want to just go to your local farm and milk a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take another, another test. I, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, all of you watching. You, you probably saw me take, take the cookie like this taking the glass to my left hand and dunking it perfectly the way it's supposed to be dunked. And you might wonder, how did I know that? I don't know, maybe there's this invention called TV and movies and like a hundred million different Christmas movies that show children and even Santa Claus dunking the chocolate, the chocolate chip cookie to milk like this. So my little monkey brain thought that, okay, that must be the right way. And my wife started talking shit behind the camera that maybe you should talk that you... How the fuck did you know to dunk it like that? Well, because of TV. TV has spoiled me like it has spoiled every single other human being in the world. There you go. A little rant. Let me fucking enjoy my cookie. This is actually good. Like, without the, without the milk... I don't know, maybe a six. Uh, it was a bit dry. But with the milk, I don't know, seven and a half. I would say. It was good. Like, without the milk, I wouldn't eat maybe one. I would eat maybe only one. But if they were, if I had the milk like this and I have an unlimited amount of cookies, I could probably eat all of them. <laughs> Makes sense, right? 
All right, so uh, leave, uh, leave a comment down below. What is something you would like to see me eat? It can be as basic as a chocolate, uh, chocolate chip cookie. Basically anything like, I don't know. The buffalo's testicles. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next one.